Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the highly anticipated U6 Enterprise. This is the first Wi-Fi 6E access point from Ubiquity Inc. And this just recently came out of EA and is generally available. Now I have a feeling that this video is going to be a long one. So in the interest of time, we're simply gonna oh, get it right out of the box just like that. So Wi-Fi 6, opened up a ton of efficiencies. It wasn't really about additional speed or additional wireless range or anything that anything like that. It was about the new technology that allowed for a denser amount of clients to be connected to a single access point. This access point is not just Wi-Fi 6, but it has Wi-Fi 6E capabilities which means that it can not only use the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz wireless spectrums, it can also use the 6 gigahertz wireless spectrum, which effectively quadruples the amount of airspace uh, for this access point or for any 6E access point or device. Now, the advantage there, again, is not really about speed or increased bandwidth or anything like that. The advantage is that you can utilize those higher channel widths, such as 80 megahertz, 160 megahertz channel widths, and there's gonna be less interference because the Wi-Fi 6 or the 6 gigahertz band is about four times the size of the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands. Now, this device advertises 10.2 gigabits worth of aggregated throughput, but you're not gonna get like 10 gigs from one device connecting through this access point. They actually break it down into 4.8 gigabits per second for the six gigahertz range, 4.8 gigabits per second for the five gigahertz range, and 570 megabits per second for the 2.4 gigahertz range. That being said, however, this device is rated to support up to 600 clients. So this is the type of access point that you're going to want in that auditorium or stadium or someplace where you're going to have a ton of wireless clients connecting to this device and using the internet or using the network. The other major feature of the U6 Enterprise is that it features a 2.5 gigabit NIC and it's powered by PoE+. So you've got that 2.5 gigabit connectivity, wired connectivity to the LAN, which can be utilized with certain enterprise switches, like the enterprise switch 8, 24, or 48. Now, in my case, I have the switch enterprise 24. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it into that device, get it adopted into Unify, and then we'll start doing some speed tests. So here we have our USW Enterprise 24 PoE. This switch features 24 ports of PoE plus power, of which 12 of those ports are 2.5 gigabit, as you can see right here. So let's plug it into one of the 2.5 gigabit ports, and then we will plug the other side into our U6 Enterprise. There we go, so I have the white LED ring that is blinking right here. As soon as this is solid white, that means that it's ready for adoption. We're gonna adopt it into Unify and then run some tests. The U6 Enterprise has been adopted to my UDM Pro. We can see here that I'm running Unify OS UDM Pro version 1.12.24, and we are on Unify Network version 7.2.91. This is the latest stable release as of the recording of this video. If we click on devices, here we can see the U6 Enterprise if we open it up, we can also see that the U6 Enterprise is connected in at 2.5 gigabits. It's also the only access point that I currently have hooked up to this network. If I click on my topology, we can see the U6 Enterprise over here. We have a few Wi-Fi 6 clients that are already connected to it, and it is connected into my USW Enterprise 24 PoE. What you don't see on this topology is that I also have wired into this USW Enterprise 24 PoE a 10 gigabit connected TrueNAS server. On that 10 gigabit connected TrueNAS server, I am running open speed test so that we can do some local speed tests from my wireless devices over to the U6 Enterprise, which then is 2.5 gigabit connected to this Enterprise 24 switch, which is 10 gigabit connected via fiber to that TrueNAS server, uh, running Docker, running open speed test in a Docker container. So here is open speed test from my computer. We're gonna go ahead and say start so we can just take a look at a live result. Generally what I've been seeing is about 350 megabits per second average upload and download uh, from my Wi-Fi 6 devices through the U6 Enterprise to the open speed test server. 
And this time around, I got 345 down and 332 up. If we look at the open speed test averages from both my desktop computer as well as my iPhone, we can see we are about 350-ish megabits down and about uh, 350 to 400 megabits upload. I also did some iPerf testing. Let's go ahead and run one of those right now. And we will do a dash P5. And so with this particular iPerf test, we got about 275 megabits per second. If we look at my overall iPerf speed testing, that lines up with what we were seeing, uh, just about between 200 and 350 megabits per second, depending on the type of speed test that I ran. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Chris, this is not a great test environment. The whole point of the U6 Enterprise is that it supports up to 600 client devices and you're testing it with one phone and one laptop wirelessly connected and you're running those speed tests one at a time. That is not a good test of the throughput or capabilities of the U6 Enterprise and you are absolutely right. So then how do we stress test this device? How do we make sure that the U6 Enterprise can stand up to some real traffic? Well. Luckily, I am here at Crosstalk's Fundamentals of Networking, uh, and I am joined by some of the smartest, most hardworking, and best-looking IT techs I have ever seen. And they've come from all around the world to be here at this training. Say hi to YouTube, guys. Hey. All right, so in order to test out this device, we're also going to be giving away a quite significant prize. Here we have the U6 Enterprise, and the U6 Enterprise is connected into this UDM SE. So this contest that we are running right now, whomever wins this contest is going to win both of these prizes. A total prize package worth about 800 bucks. What do you think, guys? Worth playing for? Yeah. Okay. Crosstalk's own Dave Barger is going to be our judge for this contest. Uh, he also has the power to disqualify any of you guys if you cheat. So we're going to be on the level. We're using the honor system, though. The way that this contest is going to work, I have the U6 Enterprise hooked up to the UDMSE. I have my laptop plugged into the UDMSE with a hardwired Ethernet connection. On my laptop is a two gigabyte file that we have shared out. On the screen here, you can see behind me, we've got these screens. We're gonna do a countdown, three, two, one. Once we hit that countdown, these gentlemen will see the wireless SSID of the U6 Enterprise, as well as the password to connect to that SSID. They will also see a network share. They will connect to that network share and they will download that file. First person to play that file on your computer wins the prize. Okay, are you guys all clear on the rules? Okay, I think without further ado, we should get started. Three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. So, step one, connect to this Wi-Fi SSID. Networking awesome, password is Lone Wolf DIY. Shared folder is 192.168.1.99 slash U6 contest. There's one MP4 file in that directory. First person to download that file and play it on your computer wins the $800 prize package. Now while they're getting started, while they're getting connected to that network, I have Unify up over here and we can see our client view. I should start seeing their systems pop into this view and of course we can verify that they downloaded through the U6 Enterprise uh, by seeing their device pop in here. I think we got a winner right here. All right, well, let me check the Unify. Hang on a second. Early on in the competition, we thought we had a winner, but as it turns out, they didn't actually download the video file. They just clicked on it within the file share and started streaming it instead. So very quickly, we figured that out and kept on with the contest. So now, wait a minute. Did you download the file or were you just playing it through the share? Ah, is it is it on your is it on your system? Oh, all right, you got to download it. Download it. That's downloading. We can see Vaughn's got his downloading here. So who's downloading? Hands up, who's downloading? All right, we've got about a half dozen downloading already. Now keep in mind, this is a Windows share coming from my laptop, but it is hardwired into the network. Oh, here we go. I got all your client devices connected in and we are downloading. Anyone got a percentage download for me? 15%, 44%. All right, what's your percentage, Patrick? 25% Vaughn, you still in the lead? Oh, over here, 
<laughs> You're pulling down at about 3.6 megabits. Or is that megabytes? That's megabytes per second. So I'm showing a uh, laptop. Uh, let's see, whoever's got 192.168.1.16 is showing in the lead right now. <laughs> <laughs> no DDoSing, please. All right, we're getting close. Vaughn, how are you looking? Uh, he, he's got it. He, he's, he's got, got it. Done in a second. So you're pulling down at about five megabytes per second. Yeah. And Ivan, you're almost there, yeah? 91%. Patrick, you falling behind? 37%. Oh, Vaughn, it says 45 seconds left on yours. What? Ivan? Make sure your sound's up. Can you get it played? Yeah, right. Sound up? <laughs> hey, Ivan wins. We have a winner. All the way from Puerto Rico, you have won the UDMSC. Right, come on up here, let's go ahead and close this out. All right, so Ivan here was our winner all the way from Puerto Rico. Ivan, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I don't know how you get this back on the plane, but you know, we'll make it work for you. And with a backpack, so it's okay. <laughs> pretty much. All right, have you uh, played with this device at all before? Uh, yeah, I have, I have the, uh, the first version. On the first version? What about the U6 Enterprise? Yeah, no. Not yet? Okay, well that will be yours. I hope you put it to good use. And uh, yeah, and then uh, the contest, we will call that complete. Congratulations to our winner, Ivan from Puerto Rico on winning the UDMSE and U6 Enterprise Access Point. And while that contest was really fun to put on for our students, I am fully aware that it still was not a great test of the U6 Enterprise's capabilities. Even though we pulled tens of gigabytes worth of data through the U6 Enterprise in a relatively short amount of time, there was a very clear weak link, and that was the SMB share on my laptop. Having a local download resource worked a lot better than if we were trying to pull a two gigabyte file from the internet, but 20 plus laptops simultaneously grabbing the same file from a Windows 11 file share really bogged down the laptop, and it did take about eight minutes before the winner was able to fully download the two gig file. During that time though, the U6 Enterprise itself didn't even break a sweat. Bottom line is that the U6 Enterprise or any of these new Wi-Fi 6 or 6E access points are really difficult to properly test. I have thought in the past about setting up a test environment using a dozen or more Raspberry Pis, all configured to run a script that randomly surfs the web, but Raspberry Pis aren't Wi-Fi 6, so even that test wouldn't be sufficient to really hammer on an access point like the U6 Enterprise. So I'm open to suggestions. If anyone out there has a good way to test capacity and overall speed for Wi-Fi 6 access points that doesn't completely break the bank, uh, let me know down in the comments below. In the meantime, I'm just gonna continue testing the only way that I know how, and that's to attempt to throw as much traffic at the device as possible while trying to make the testing fun at the same time. Okay, that's it for the U6 Enterprise. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you also check out our full Austin training recap video where you can see how we set up the class, we take a side trip to the Austin, Texas Tesla Gigafactory, and we enjoy some drinks at a sponsored happy hour event. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.